In this video, I'm going to go over why I stopped using the Kanban board community plugin inside of Obsidian and why I'm actually using the core plugin for tags and the tag pane to actually do the same thing and actually give me more flexibility in what I'm doing inside of my notes. So when we go into Obsidian, you can see this is the script for the video. I'm going to go into my settings, community plugins, browse, and this is the plugin that I've stopped using, the Obsidian Kanban plugin. Now, in previous videos, I have showed how I use this, and there are lots of features that I could have used, but I didn't, so date adding, task adding, archiving, etc. But I chose not to use them because most of my tasks, projects, actions, goals, those sorts of things are done in another application because Obsidian is notes specific. It's knowledge management specific. So I use my uh, Kanban plugin for my notes. So that's the monthly observations of educational science. You can see I'm using tags, and this is what the board used to look like, but in vertical format. There are some things I liked about the board which I now don't have anymore, some that I liked that I still have, uh, and then there are some things as to what I didn't like, which is why I'm now using tags. So the dragging option was very, very nice because you can drag the page from uh, between status to status. So something in the to read section, so any of these, I could drag the page across into the done section or to write section, to check section, etc. But one of the limitations here is, as you can see here, there are, there are only four columns. But when I go into research, well, there's many more columns. Now, these columns meant that I had to scroll right and left, which became a bit of a friction point to me when I had to navigate around pages, especially when I had to bring up a page and then bring up the board to see what status they were in because I've only got half the page. So if I open up uh, another page here, imagine this is a board with, what's that, seven? Seven columns? I'm, I'm scrolling left and right quite a bit. So it became a bit of a friction point. And in a similar sense, if I click on paper, there are 52 papers in here. And having a column with 52 things is a lot of scrolling. Now, admittedly, I don't use it that much, uh, but 19, 17, these sorts of numbers are more realistic to see in a board. Now, in this search, you can see it's very, very quick to just see everything. If I really wanted to, I could drag that down and now see everything. In the board view, I didn't have that flexibility. I could change the size of the cards and the width of the cards, but it was either making it, okay, more scrolling left and right and less scrolling up and down or more scrolling up and down and less left and right. So it became a dimension sort of puzzle, like how would I want to configure all of this, whereas in the tags pane it's just all done for me really uh, from, from my from my use case. The page preview in the core plugin, so the ability to find and, and see the page like this you can see here, this is a core plugin inside of Obsidian. It's not uh, community plugin specific, but the fact that you could do this in the in the Kanban board was very nice. Now you can see I can already do this all over Obsidian. So even though I've stopped using the Kanban plugin, I'm still in Obsidian. So I still have this feature, which is why I didn't go to somewhere like Trello or any other Kanban board plugin because I can't actually see the note when I want to see it and have, have a look in that space. Uh, the workspace shortcuts was something else that I used a lot with the boards. So the workspace again is another core plugin. You can see it's here, manage workspaces. I have a hotkey, so control shift O, H is my home. So this is my home workspace. I've got the file explorer, search, tag, uh, star pane, tags pane, backlinks, outline, and then the local graph view. Even though it says graph of home pane, it's just the local graph. If I go to my other workspace, so new, there's a different organization of all these different panels because this is where I'm actually going to be writing things. And when I was using the board view, I would use a workspace per board. So if I go back to my home workspace for a second, you can see these are all the different boards I have. I'd have a, a research board view, a paper board view, a notes board view, Mo's board view, etc. I think in the video that I shared previously, it's just the Mo's because I was trying to reduce the amount of boards I had, but still wanted the boards and that was one of the friction points. Whereas here, I have one workspace, which is my home workspace, and I can see all the boards. If I want to see a board, I can just go straight in. If I want to see a certain column, again, I can just click in and, and find it. Now, most of the time, notes are shut because at the moment, my priority is research. Um, if I want to go into papers, again, I can see that. And this is something else with my most boards because they were individual pages, which I believe is a point down here. Yeah, each board is, is a different page. Because they are individual pages, or were individual pages, I had to remember the name of the page. <laughs> uh, and sometimes I forgot the names of the page, so I had to go and try and find it. Whereas here, it, they're just all in one long list. I, I can't forget it because it's there, which is kind of the point of, of note-taking tools anyway. The other bonus of the Kanban board was it's very action-focused. Now, 
this is a bonus and a negative because it's really useful in saying, okay, I've now done this, it's gone. Now I either tick it off, I, I tick it, and then it stays in the list, but I sort of ignore it, or I archive it. If I archive it, I then get, need to go and try and find it in the archive if I want to reference it again, which is actually where the irritation came from because I didn't want to completely sort of archive it and leave it because your notes are never really archived. They're not, never truly done. Uh, your notes are always going. So I didn't want to tick them off and say, yes, I've done, but I didn't want them to be in the board either. So what I actually do now, so for example, if I go into uh, this page here, I can see this is the status, which again is one of those points that in the Mose board I couldn't do. When when I had um, everything in the Mose board, I'd have to bring up the board on the other panel. So imagine that's the Mose board. I have to bring it up and go, right, where is it? Scroll left and right to try and find the status. Oh, that's where the status is. Close that down and, and then carry on working. Whereas here, I can just go straight to the top of the page and go, okay, that's the status. Uh, but now, once I've finished with it, so once the Mose has been published, if you're interested in my uh, monthly observations of educational science, if you're interested in it, there's a link in the description to the Patreon, but when I've done it, I just go, paper. Now it's out of that board <laughs> and into this board, so you can see it's gone from 52 to 53. And that's it, that's all I need to do, um, which means it hasn't been archived or completed, it's just been moved to a different board. Now I could do that with a Kanban board plugin and have the boards one like on top of each other or next to each other and then drag them over, but it's much easier just to get rid of a word and type a word and try and find the right columns in the two pages and drag them across. Really small workflow difference, but that the amount of times I do it, it's just much easier to do it like this with the tags now. Now also in the Kanban view, this is gonna be moving as to why I started using tags, the number count. You, you can see here, I, I can see all of the different numbers in here, uh, but in the Kanban view, I can't, I can't see that. So if I want to know how many articles are going to be in the Mose for that month, I can just go straight in here and say, okay, I'm working on 13. I, at the moment, I've done three. In the Kanban board, I needed to either manually count it or have a, just like a, a rough guess, which was irritating. It, it, it just was. It was irritating. Uh, so that that was uh, one of those points that I didn't think I would need, but having having just a running number here is just very very nice. And again, when I'm actually inside of my research PhD research, I can see how many things are passively I'm passively looking at. So all of these things are related to PhD, but I'm I'm not really looking at them at the moment. Whereas active, I can see I'm active on sixteen. I've actually done some of them, um, but again. Another thing that I can do in tags, which I can't do in, uh, well, which I couldn't do in the Kanban, new. So this page, Cognitive Load Theory, I have something new in this page. If I go down to the to do section, these are three papers that I want to add to this, but I've, I've done this. I'm, I'm pretty happy with this page. So it is part of research. It is active and it, it was done, but there's just some new stuff that might have something to add, but I don't know. Now, there was no real place to put that in the board apart from adding another column, but now there's more left and right. Whereas here, I can just go, okay, there's a new thing in there. Uh, or I, I'm collecting things on these pages, so it's not a, uh, I need this column, but it's it's still there, nice to have. So I would just have the active, these are the active pages, and I work through them. Uh, let's go back to here. I couldn't see the stage in the page, which I've gone through already. So if I actually go to this page right here, it's not linked to anything. It's not got any stages. This is the uh, conference that's currently going on. So if I go into uh, outline, you can see actually, let's just go into my actual view instead of my homepage view. Uh, and you can see this. So I've got Tiago Forte and August Bradley. Their presentations have been done so far. This video will probably be posted towards the end of the week. So all of the all of the presentation notes will be up if you want to see them. Obsidian Publish, link in description. But this note doesn't have any tag. It's, it's not anywhere. It's not linked to anything yet. Uh, if I go into here, it's not linked to anything. It's just a, a capture note. It's just there. So again, Kanban board works fine. But when I go into something like this, where I've got loads of notes going on, but now I have something that like it's at a stage, I, I need to be able to see it, which I can do now rather than having to open it up in a separate panel. And the other point that I was going to raise, this, this local graph view. Some people don't like the local graph view, which I understand. I personally do use it and like it quite often, uh, like it quite a lot, because I can see like a priority of the note when I'm inside the note. So this one is a PhD specific note, and all of these blue points are other notes specific to my PhD research. And if I come into groups, uh, I'll quickly show you the filter. It is filtered for working notes folder, but it, there we go. Uh, it's blue for research and orange for notes. So I know immediately if there are notes related to this PhD research that I am either not looking at in depth in research or maybe I should be looking at in depth, which is what I've actually done. So uh, where is it? 
it is hearing. I didn't think hearing was going to be part of my research, but it actually is because of uh, research stuff, but the perceptions of um, mental processing, etc, etc. But this was just a notes page. So I, I had this as a tag under notes. But then I realized, actually, it's part of research. And it's just an other section. It's it's not drastically important. It's just there. So I, I realized that through the local graph view because it was an orange dot. There you go, communication. Is communication going to be part of my PhD research? Maybe it should be because um, it's related to this. I, I will probably do that off camera if it is. And thinking about it now, it probably will be. So I will come into here at the moment. You can see it's notes and expanding. So what I'll do is I'll add a different tag and I will be able to see it straight away. If I go into my home page, again, I will see something very similar. I can see blue and orange, orange goals, not really related to PhD research. I still have loads of notes on. So they are the main reasons as to why I stopped using the Kanban plugin and how I'm using tags instead. But if you do use the Kanban board, I'd be interested to hear in the comment section below how you're using it and why you're using it. And if you do choose to use it, what, what your reasons are for using it. Now, I'm not to say you should or shouldn't. It's just personal preference, of course. So yeah, be interesting to hear your thoughts in the comment section below.